We get all kinds of questions about drug testing. And a popular question we get is, can secondhand marijuana smoke give me a positive drug test? There are many ways to use marijuana. Smoking with a pipe or rolled as a joint likely remains the most popular method. And this method of consumption, much like tobacco cigarettes, produces smoke, which can be indirectly inhaled by non-users. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, states that this secondhand marijuana smoke does contain THC, the psychoactive chemical in the cannabis plant that produces its high. Understanding the effects of secondhand marijuana smoke can have on a drug test is a common question received by our team. And Dr. Barry Sample, Senior Director of Science and Technology at Quest Diagnostics, has decided to share his expertise in an effort to clear the air on this topic. And he said, there are no published peer-reviewed studies to date that indicate, even with today's increased concentrations of THC in marijuana, that someone would test positive due to passive or incidental exposure at events such as parties or concerts. The National Institute on Drug Abuse concurs, reporting that it's unlikely that secondhand marijuana smoke could give someone a contact high after examining research that measured factors such as drug potency, hours of exposure, and room ventilation. National Drug Screening offers testing for marijuana using urine and hair specimens and even oral fluid coming very soon. New oral fluid testing technology has proven effective in detecting recent marijuana use. When compared to urine, oral fluid demonstrates higher positivity rates for almost all drugs and more than twice the positivity rates for marijuana. It's important to select a test type and cutoff that will effectively screen for the drug. For more information about marijuana testing or workplace drug testing, visit us online at nationaldrugscreening.com.